Welcome back to the show today. Thanks for tuning in. It is a beautiful spring day in the South. I hope it is just gorgeous and sunny wherever you are and that you are just having the best day. And if you're not, maybe this podcast will help. (laughs) And maybe this podcast will let you have a really good day because today I'm going to do a solo podcast because I wanted to personally take you behind the scenes as an esthetician, and I am answering some of our member questions that are in our skincare community, our pre-beauty skincare community. And I wanted to share with you what that kind of looks like. So it's just, I think it's pretty cool that you're getting an esthetician to answer some of the questions directly. I am not a doctor. I'm a licensed esthetician. So keep that in mind. So you would need to just make the best decision for you. These are things that I recommend. But again, I don't have your medical history or any medications that you're taking or what's going on with your gut or anything like that, like your internals or so just make sure that you do take it with a grain of salt, because you may have some other conditions that wouldn't apply. But overall, I'd love to I can't wait for you to hear how I answer some of these questions. And I hope that you will love it too. So I wanted to let you know, I usually only answer well, I do I only answer member questions, which are the skincare questions in our community. I get emailed or DM'd a ton like through Instagram. But I always lead everybody back to the membership because there's a couple of reasons. And I just wanted to explain those. First, I want a connection with you, with that person that is messaging me. And I want you to stay inside every community because it, I just didn't want like this one off answer. I wanted to stay connected and that you know what's happening with like the latest in the skincare industry. It is always evolving. There's so many fun things happening and just stay informed on how to take care of your skin. I really want to empower you and make you feel so confident on how to take care of your skin, understand ingredients, how they go together. So we have inside our Lapri Beauty skincare community, we have skincare videos, which are called our secret videos, secret skincare videos. And I give you all my tips and tricks. They're all there for the videos. And I add videos weekly in there. And then we have skin school. And that's a deep dive into ingredients. So you will have like, Ashley does like a cliff note version of the smaller ingredients. And then she goes in depth. If you want to read like truly read like all the ingredients. So we love we take so much pride in this. This is like our pride and joy. And this is our job. So we take it very seriously. Another thing that we are adding soon. So we're we've just started it. We are doing a super deep dive into skincare ingredients that I cannot tell you how many skincare products that are sent to us by brands. Oh my word. If you saw my skin drawer, it is crazy. So Ashley and I developed a system that we use with specific questions and we look at every single ingredient in that product. Wow. That's a lot, right? Like very time consuming. And we are going to rate those and show you which skincare products that we like. We're going to see how this goes. We're going to see if people are interested in this or not. It is quite a bit of work, which we are so happy to do. But I get excited. Like, I want to know what is in that product. Where does it rate? So, for example, you can look at a few different websites to find out you know, where it's coming from. So or how it's rated. So the EWG has a great site ewg.org slash skin deep, actually, because that one you can put in any type of ingredient and it'll rate that ingredient by the EWG. You can see its toxicity levels, just all kinds of things. Cosmeticsinfo.org. That's also a good one. Just helps you see and learn about ingredients as well. So we use those two websites and a few others to assess the ingredients. And then we have a questionnaire for both Ashley and myself to review those ingredients as we go along. So wow, I'm just like so excited about this. So again, it's coming. We are going to start talking about that and let you know which ones we love. We're not going to bash anybody because I don't believe in that. Like we're just going to talk about the things that we do love. So wanted to tell you about that. And second of all, the other reason why I want you to come into our community 
and why I answer questions that are inside there, it's important to Ash and I to have like a hub that has like everything in one place where you can easily refer back to on things. So we tend to sometimes get a repet like the same question, a repetitive question on certain topics. Not always. So these are fresh topics that I'm gonna talk to you about today. But it is a great way that we can DM you back inside the community, like message you back and direct you to the place where it's already answered for you inside the community. And then you can find that great info. So anyway, it helps other people as well find that info. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. By the way, all of these items that I'm going to talk to you about today are in our Shop My Fave store. They are categorized under this podcast. So just look for the latest podcast. Look for the name of this podcast in our Shop My Fave store. And you can see all the items that I'm going to recommend today. They're already listed. It's so simple to find them. Go to lindsayholder.com and select shop my faves and it will directly take you to that area. Okay, let's dive in. I am so happy that these members sent these questions. It just brings me such joy <laughs> because I get to give you my thoughts and opinions. I have been an esthetician and a spot owner for well, 13 years. So I just renewed my CEUs, which was my continuing ed. And so I'm going to continue on. I don't have my spa anymore. So I am focused on because I wanted to be able to reach so many people. And so that is what I am focused on. I am focused on you. I am focused on growing the community and just reaching so many women to feel confident in their skin. Let's hear from one of our members. This is the question that I got and I want to give you my answer. Okay. Hi, ladies. I would like your thoughts, dot, dot, dot. I was thinking of derma rolling, then using the droplet, and lastly, using my Saluma. What are your thoughts? First off, great skincare routine. And the reason why she knows of the skincare routine is because she has been following us on inside the membership and on the podcast. And like we have multiple DMs with this with this sweet lady. So my thoughts are this, your skincare routine is really great. It's pretty close. And I would just alter it, reverse one thing. I would use the derma roller first, then the Saluma, then the droplet. So personally, I like to have bare skin while doing the LED. Now, I know that there are some masks in serum companies that like they have it was like, oh, it's formulated for the LED mask, like specifically formulated. And they have you add it to the LED. But for now, until I have more research and more studies that have been sent to me, I am sticking with the old school way of the bare skin, which is best because, you know, you're really reaching. You want to go as deep as those lights can go without any barrier. So I don't have any barrier fresh, clean skin, then you can do your skincare afterwards. But I love this protocol. It's excellent. I would probably add one more thing. After the droplet, I would add the one skin that I love. You guys know I'm like obsessed with one skin. And that's just going to give you that extra like oomph for your skin. And you are going to love your skin. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you know this, but one skin now has an eye treatment. They just came out with it. I am so excited about this. I just attended their one hour live stream event to learn the in-depth research and findings. And this brand always impresses me. And I'm not a huge eye cream advocate. So that tells you something because I think unless you have some major issues, you can, I mean, there's certain times where, yeah, I'll give a specific eye cream like, okay, you need a little bit, a nice cinnamide in here to brighten it up. Or there's something that you really need this ingredient if you have milia or something like that. But normally I'll say you can use your moisturizer on your eyes if you have a thicker one. But this one is amazing. <laughs> so excited to start my journey with their eye cream. Oh my gosh, I have like all their products. And I'll have the body cream, the face cream, and then I'm going to have, oh, I have their cleanser and I'm going to get the eye cream. You know, I'm going to get it. So the next question coming in, so I hope you like the answer. The next question, I hope to that member that answers your question. And if it doesn't, just D, you know, just talk to me inside our membership if you have any other questions. So here's the next one. I have dry spots on my face, pretty much the whole face. What should I do? <laughs> okay, I understand that. So it sounds like you have spots, but 
Also, your whole face is dry too. What would I do? Here is my take on that. Again, not a doctor, just telling you how I would do it as an esthetician. I would love for you to reduce your acids first and your retinol. Let's repair your skin's barrier. Let's do that first thing. So just reduce those things until we get everything repaired, okay? And then if you're able, I would skip rinsing your face in the AM and just do your cleanser at night. So unless you're having breakouts or unless you get super congested, like really easily, skip your cleanser in the morning. I love rubbing in my skin's like natural oils from the night before. And then add an occlusive on top of your moisturizer to seal everything in. So an occlusive, they're basically ingredients that create that physical barrier on top of your skin. This keeps your skin moist and hydrated. Personally, I love the Barrier Balm by Glow Skin Beauty. It's amazing. And I use it on my lips too. It's just so like the consistency, the feel, the application and the results. I just really love that. Anytime I did a peel on a client, I always put the like gave them the Barrier Balm. I put it on their skin and gave them a few nights worth of that. It just heals your skin. It's just amazing. I have that in our Shop My Fave store as well. I would also recommend to add a humidifier in your room at night. I love the one by Canopy. Like, let's get that hydration and moisture in the air at night while you sleep. The one by Canopy, I've been using that for, gosh, I mean, over two years now. Really convenient because you can take it apart, easily wash it in the dishwasher, and you can add your essential oil of choice on top of the device. I have their subscription, like for their filters. They just come in the mail. I think they're $10. I throw the other one away. It's awesome. It's so easy. I have that hydration in the air when especially mainly for because I'm in the south, I do have a lot of humidity. But in the winter, when the heat's on and stuff, it's so good to have just to keep my skin nice and hydrated. So I really recommend that. All right, here is another question from another member. I was wondering about if there's some kind of serum or anything to put on your shoulders or back for acne scars? I didn't know if that's the same thing you would apply on your face. Well, that is a great question. Okay, here are my recommendations for your scarring, what to do on your, especially like your back and your shoulders. I would incorporate an LED light therapy. It's going to reduce the appearance of scars and the color of the scar. The light therapy will reduce the appearance of any redness if there is any. It's been amazing my past experiences with clients, just seeing the my acne clients use LED light and seeing that inflamed skin, that redness that occurs and watching it over time just turn flesh colored. So it just like is seamless. It's such, oh, it gives me such joy when I would see that. So definitely try that. The red light use is an anti-inflammatory light. The one that I use on the back is the Saluma, like with my clients. And I use personally the Saluma all over my body. So especially I like even legs. Oh, you could check out our cellulite podcast that we did a few podcasts back. And we also talk about the Saluma light and it just helps like tighten and strengthen that collagen for cellulite. Thought I would just (laughs) give that tip while we're talking about the LED lights. Great for wrinkles too. Great for pain management but also for scarring. It has the Saluma one. Now it has an awesome flexible panel. So you can place and use that on your back anywhere really on your body. The sessions are 30 minutes. They will help with circulation and collagen formation. But I wanted to just stress like give it time, be patient with the LED light, but you will see results. You do need a therapeutic grade session for that as well as make sure that your lights are pretty strong to use. I know that Saluma has that backed up. So I do recommend, is it an expensive panel? Yes, it is. But I mean, it works. If you really are serious on wanting results, it does work. The one that I have is in our Shop My Faves store as well. Again, you can form it to any part of your body. Now with LED lights, we have an entire podcast dedicated to LED lights. So look in the back of our podcast. Let's going to see if I can look up our podcast really quick just to kind of tell you what episode it was. But I wanted to tell you with LED lights, you can use LED lights every day 
However, you do need 24 hours in between because it's kind of like a battery. Like once you're charged, it's not doing any good. So if you did it at three o'clock one day or five o'clock, then the next day you need to still do it at three o'clock or, you know, five o'clock the next day too. Let's see. Here it is. So podcast number 89 light therapy explained for LED red light therapy. And we even talk about far infrared and near infrared. I encourage you to listen to that to learn about that as well. And then for the cellulite one that I mentioned earlier, that one is episode 97 cellulite treatment with at home options. So feel free to listen to those as well, because I cannot wait for you to just get like so educated and knowledgeable and know exactly what LED lights do to help you with, in this case, it'll help this person with their, a little bit with their scarring. I would also use the One Skin body treatment. It strengthens your skin, it strengthens your collagen. It's in a pump. You use it after your shower. Well, actually, let me just tell you that you do use it after your shower or you can use it in the morning or night. However, if you are going to do the LED light, make sure to do the LED light first, then apply the One Skin treatment. Just want to let you know that. Add a glycolic body wash that will help diminish acne scars over time and how it does that is by removing surface skin cells. So I would add a glycolic body wash as well. And now this is a little tricky, but if you're able to do a home derma roller on your back, that would be excellent. Oh my goodness. Because you're then when the ingredient that you add after that will just go in and you're building up that, you know, you're breaking down that scar tissue and you're building up fresh new skin and collagen. The roller that I like is by Beauty Bio. I use that one. They have a body roller head. I do have both. Like I have the face one and the body roller head, but you're going to be able to go so much faster with that larger derma roller head than you would the small one on the face. Make sure to reach the areas that you need And make sure to do all three passes on that. So that's a vertical pass, a horizontal, and a diagonal pass. That's really important. I actually have a derma rolling tutorial inside our La Pretty Beauty skincare community to view on how to do derma rolling. So if you head to lindsayholder.com, join our community there, our La Pretty Beauty community, you're actually going to get access to the videos. And I have that video to follow along with. So you can watch me derma roll my skin. I know it can be confusing and there's a few tips that I would love to share with you. So just head inside that community and then that way we can derma roll together (laughs) and then you can add it to your back. I derma roll my thighs and inside of my elbows too, along with my face, my neck, decollete, any areas that you're having an issue with, derma roll it. That is just such an easy way to get things really moving for there. Okay. And lastly, I would check into some silicone patches. Silicone patches are known to help flatten and reduce acne scars. So definitely look into that. I have some patches that I recommend inside that um, store so you don't have to hunt and search (laughs) for those. You can place those at night before you go to bed, wake up, remove the patch, or you can use them during the day, whatever your preference is. So wherever your scars are, put those patches on there. So I really hope that those answer your question and that you have, maybe you probably have already a few of those products at home, but if not, they're all ready for you to get in the Shop My Faves store and you can start working on that. Again, I encourage you to give yourself some grace and time to reduce those scars. I know that can be like you're sensitive with that. I know I'm sensitive when I have things like that pop up and you want to get rid of them super fast, but just give it some time and let your body just heal and build up fresh skin. The last question I have is about ceramides. So the person wants to know, do they take place of your moisturizer? This person is using a ceramide serum, it seems like by her question. She follows the steps of vitamin C, botanical serum, hyaluronic acid, and peptides. Well, my answer to that is, first of all, ceramides are great because they do a few things. For example, they protect your skin from environmental damage like weather and pollution, as well as allergy and infection-causing germs like bacteria and fungi. 
They prevent irritation and dryness by locking moisture into your skin and really, you know, overall improve the health of your skin cells. And my favorite, (laughs) it's like they fill in the cracks of your skin to like create this smooth, protective skin barrier. So I do love ceramides for sure. Now, here's a tip. If you want to skip putting on a ceramide serum and a moisturizer, you can find a moisturizer that has that ceramide ingredient already in it. It is okay to find one product with multiple ingredients as long as they're mixed properly. For example, this person is using hyaluronic acid and then she's going to add the ceramides and then she wants to do the moisturizer too. Well, you could, it looks like she does peptide, you could find a moisturizer that at least has two of those ingredients. If you're really lucky, three. So you could play around and find a moisturizer that would have the ceramides and the hyaluronic acid in it or ceramides and the peptides in them. Or even if you wanted to add a niacinamide, if you want some brightening, you could do the ceramides and the niacinamide. That way you're not having to put like six layers on like, oh, I've got a <laughs> hyaluronic acid serum, then I have a niacinamide, then I have a peptide. That's going to be a lot. And I don't want you to get burned out with your skincare. I want it to be just really easy to do at night that you enjoy. And it's not overwhelming, just a really nice end of your day and beginning of your morning. And then it's simple steps. So I encourage you to find a moisturizer that already has those ceramides in it, if possible, and one of those other ingredients as well. That would be what I would would do for that. So anyway, that is what I wanted to answer those few member questions. I cannot wait to hear from you. Please join our, you know, I'm gonna say it again. (laughs) Please join our community. Come and talk to me. My name is Lindsay. I would love to hear from you. So just head to lindsayholder.com, join our community. And I think I'm going to do a few more of these episodes to answer membership questions. So then you can hear a little bit how I do that. Just, I think I love, I don't know about you, but I love like behind the scenes, what's going on, you know, what are they, how are they answering these people? (laughs) So I hope that helps that you can hear exactly how I would handle those things. Another thing that I would love to also add before I go is if there's any updates in the skincare industry, which I know I mentioned at the beginning, but that's really important too. So if there's an update like to this podcast, I can easily hop into our skincare community and say, hey, listen, there's an update on this. Or did you know that when I was talking about these silicone patches, there's this new product that does this, this, and this. So just keep that in mind. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening. I hope one of these questions helps um, you with something. And if you do have a question, send it to get inside the membership. My name is Lindsay and I'll be able to answer you there. Thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you have a great day and until next time. 